Marnie B here. Today, my friends, my family, and I are gonna give you some back to school tips so you can have a super successful year. I'll give you the first tip. Give your best effort because believe it or not, that goes a long way. When you have a test, study. When you have homework, do it. If you're working on an assignment in class, work hard and you will see a massive improvement just by good effort. So, give your best effort. What do you want? You need a back to school tip? Here's one. Bring a pencil to class. I taught for many years and I remember kids would forget a pencil and I say, we write every day. So I'd give them a pencil and then they'd lose it. So I'd give them another one and five minutes later they say, I lost it and it make my eyes go cross. So bring more than one pencil to class. So you bring at least two so if you lose one, you still have one. Bring a pencil to class. Hey, it's me, Barney B's dad. I miss him so much. Anyways, here's a back to school tip. Get a binder. It makes everything so organized. I remember when I was in school, we had a binder grade check. And I didn't have my binder organized. And the teacher was like, it's not organized. It gave me a bad grade. Get a binder. Here's a back to school tip. Bring paper to class. Or I will eat your homework. Got it? I will eat it, I promise. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to my room. Uh... This bed gets comfier and comfier, doesn't it? <laughs> but anyways, I got a back to school tip for you. Keep your locker organized and clean. Trust me, you don't want to have a messy locker. You won't be able to find anything. I was one of those guys, believe it or not, that my locker was never clean. At the end of the year, I found an old tuna sandwich that, was at, that I had at the beginning of the year. Literally, it smelled awful. And everyone was like, oh my gosh, that stinks. And I couldn't find anything I needed in there. Sad part of that story was everyone started chanting, you won't eat it, you won't eat it. And I said, bet you I will. And I ate it. I got sick for three months. Keep your locker organized and clean, please. Thank you. I tried cat food once. It was, it was okay. I was just curious. We're live. Gilbert Ravioli here with Channel Zero News. And today, I'm here to give you a back to school tip. Uh, summer's coming to an end. Notice the fedora that represents summer ending. That's what my producer said. Why I should wear it. Don't have to agree with everything he says, but I still wore it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, my back to school tip for you would be bring your book to class every day. You never know, your teacher might have you work out of the book. Maybe you'll do group work out of the book. You never know, you might use your book that day. You might have homework out of the book. Or what if your teacher says it's an open book test that day and you're allowed to use your book for the test? You never know, bring your book every day. A quick short story for you. I remember when I was in school, my teacher had an open book test for us and I forgot my book. I didn't do so good on the test, so I had to take my bad test score to my papa. I looked at my papa, I said, Papa, am I in trouble for not doing so good on the test? He looked at me and said, Gilbert, you're going to get punished. I said, what's my punishment? He said, you're going to go to your Aunt Gertrude's and give her a foot massage. I said, no. <laughs> Tell me when I'm live, please. Uh, now, amateurs. I'm uh, Jim Rock Potatoes with uh, Channel Zero News. I'm the producer, uh, and I'm here to give you a back-to-school tip. Uh, get a book bag, something like this. Carry all your books in. Uh, it's just good for you. Won't hurt you uh, when you're carrying your books. Even though I didn't use one when I was in school because I had muscles, and uh, I carried all my books with my pinky, which actually led me to get uh, a disease called pinky weak disease. Basically, your pinky becomes very weak. Uh, it was pretty sad. Doctor told me I'd never carry my books on my pinky again. Guess what I did the next day? But then I tore every ligament in my pinky out. So don't do that. Go get a book bag. Go get it now. Go! Oh, like, hey, I didn't see you there. Yeah, I have a back to school tip for you. Um, do your homework. This happened to me once. I forgot my homework. And my teacher was like, Todd, you didn't do your homework. And I was like, my bad. And she said, Todd, you haven't done your homework all week. And I was like, my bad all week? We had a test that day. And the teacher was like, 90% of the test comes from the homework. And I was like, oh no. 
So I ended up putting potato as an answer for most of the test because I got nervous. So obviously I missed it. it. It's math class. I shouldn't have did that. The worst part is the teacher for me put ex the extra credit question as name of vegetable. And I got nervous and put leprechaun shoes. <laughs> Just do your homework. <laughs> oh, didn't see you there. I was too busy practicing my ninja moves. <laughs> Another tip for you, be on time for class. Sometimes, when you're talking to your friends, you're like, oh no, I'm late. And if you miss what's going on at the beginning of class, you're gonna get behind. Trust me, I know. So be on time for class. Don't be tardy. <laughs> wow, I just learned a lot. <laughs> well, I have the last tip for you, and that is bring a positive attitude. You're in school for nine months and you get to hang out with a bunch of your friends and you get to meet some cool teachers. Why not bring a positive attitude so you can make a positive impact in your community? It sounds like a cool idea. With all these tips together, I think you're gonna have a super successful year. Whoa, don't forget, like and subscribe and come back and see some more math tutorials and maybe you'll laugh a little bit, <laughs> like that, um, and become a true math G. Take care.